Hello and welcome to Edinburgh City FC TV with myself, Stephen Dixon. And this weekend's match highlights come from Ainsley Park in the Ladbrokes SPFL League 2 from yesterday, where second place Edinburgh City played host to third place Clyde. Edinburgh City's last five games are starting to pick up two victories and one draw, losing twice in that run of five, scoring six, conceding seven. Meanwhile, Clyde's last five have saw them on an unbeaten run, four victories and one draw, scoring 11, conceding five. Last five head-to-heads between the pair, one win for Edinburgh City, three wins for Clyde and one draw. So the man in the middle will be responsible for all footballing matters over the next 90 minutes is David Lowe, and he's about to blow his first whistle. And it's Edinburgh City to get us started. And away we go. We play at the back here from Edinburgh City. It's going to be... Oh, it's going to be forced back there, it was Clyde by a chance, good willie, good save Antel, and Antel had to be sharp there, it was Josh Walker, he was dispossessed, then the Minnesota City captain, corner kick for Danny Lennon's bully wee, still Clyde have it, and Edinburgh City get it half clear, falls to McStay, and now Edinburgh City looking to break away, and that could be the first yellow of the match, and it will be, and it's Barry Kadai, and it is his fourth yellow card of the season, 22 year old. Free kick in a bit of city. Launched towards the Clyde box. And it's in there by Black. Helped on there by Breen Shepard. Blair Henderson. Dave Blair Curry. Good move by in a city. It was quick, fast, and energetic. But in city couldn't force the ball over the line. And now here's Clyde going down the left hand side. Good, strong running. It's Mark Lamont wearing 11. Taking on Liam Henderson and fools the Edinburgh City captain and forces a foul and Liam Henderson goes into the book for the seventh time this season he's been yellow carded and now here's Clyde again on the counter good Willie knocks her inside it's not back there by Raymond Grant now it's wide right Scott Banks with a left foot shot great save Antel Antel had to be smart there and he was Headed away there by the Clyde defence, and now Clyde moving forward. Good Willie knocks that on. It's helped forward by John Rankin, the two former Dunny United men combining. Here's David Good Willie inside the box. Good block by Craig Thompson, and it's going to be cleared by McIntyre. McIntyre has pulled back there by David Good Willie. Free kick in the city. Corner kick Clyde, and it comes into the danger area. Ball bobbling about. Half cleared, falls to Mark Lamont, but it's well wide. Avantel's right hand stick. Now it's right, right for Edinburgh City. Craig Thompson, the captain, gets the ball into the danger area. Oh, Blair Henderson inside that Clyde six-yard box. Couldn't steer his effort on target. Balatoni trying to keep the ball in play, but falls out David Goodwill. He takes the quick throw and <laughs> throws the ball off Balatoni's back. Very clever indeed by David Goodwill. He cuts that back and it's good defending in the end. Great block. And it was Banks that was denied in the end. By Henderson. The ball's out wide left. Here's McIntyre for Edinburgh City. McIntyre right foot shot. Easy save for Blair Curry. Quite goalkeeper handling that with ease in the end. Scott Banks winning seven. Knocks that forward to the number four. Tom Lang gets that ball across. Oh, what a save from Antel. It was a cross come short there by Tom Lang. And Edinburgh City eventually get it away, but it's only half clear, and Scott Banks knocks that down. Goodwill lets it go through his legs, but Balatoni reads that like a book. And Edinburgh City get it away. Clearance by Callum Antel over the halfway line. Edinburgh City causing problems. Raymond Grant gets the head on, but it's only as far as Blair Henderson. He tries to feed it through to Jack Breen, the Motherwell Loney, but Clyde do get it away. And now Lamont plays it back the way. Always put his teammates in trouble. And now here's Galbraith, he goes down under the challenge there from Barry Kadai and the referee, David Lowe, makes absolutely no hesitation at all in point to the spot. And that will be a penalty kick for Edinburgh City, so it's Blair Henderson, Edinburgh City's famous number nine. Up he comes and it's in the net! Knocks it to Blair Curry's left, the goalkeeper goes right, and Blair Henderson notches goal number 37 in 45 appearances this season. What a record that is! Certainly up there with the Cristiano Ronaldo's and the Lionel Messi's of this world as the ex-Dunfermline Athletic striker scores first 
And Edinburgh City are up and running on 47 minutes. Clyde now looking to find any way back they can. They know they really have to take some in here if they want to catch Edinburgh City in the race for second place or even the title. Here's Lamont. Oh, it's staying in a flesh on its way through. Both McIntyre and Antel gratefully accepts. And now here's Clyde breaking away. It's good play by Chris McStay. He spreads the play from right to left. Now here is Scott Banks. Banks taking on Walker. It gets beyond Walker. Left foot short, but it's well off target. And Clyde will have to try again as the score remains 1 0 in favour. In comes the corner from Edinburgh City. Curry gets it away away as far as George Walker. Walker's forced out wide right into the box by Thompson. Header by Balatoni, but wide. Craig Thompson again with a header away. Picked up in the middle though by John Rankin. He knocks that forward. Now here's David Goodwillie. Antel beats him to it. There's a chance. It's Mark Lamont off target. Goal kick, Edinburgh City. Good play by Andy Black. The former Dundee man. Oh, there's a bit of after there. The referee is going to possibly brandish a yellow card. Yes, he is towards Andy Black on the 73rd minute. The 23-year-old sees his 13th yellow card this season. The former Sterling Albion midfielder. And now here is Danny Galbraith who won that penalty kick. Oh, he goes down there and challenge from Tom Lang. Referee is... Well, he's given the free kick the opposite way. Free kick Clyde. And a yellow card for the former Hibsman for diving. Free kick Clyde. And the Clyde goalkeeper Blair Curry is in a rush to get this game restarted as they chase the equaliser. Ball's knocked forward there. But Tony gets ahead on it. He's under pressure from Siverston. Antel spills it. Craig Thompson looking to get it away. And he does. Clyde returning that ball towards Edinburgh City. 18 yard box, here is Christopher Siverston knocks it wide left, David Goodwillie angling for a shot, right foot shot, takes deflection, onto the post and falls loose and it's in the net and it's Ali Love who's got it, the 27 year old former breaking man scores his 8th goal in 38 Clyde appearances and it's 1-1 with 10 minutes to go. It was David Goodwillie, the former Blackburn Rovers striker who's trying to get a strike and it takes a deflection on its way through off Liam Henderson and Ali Love at the second attempt knocks the ball beyond Callum Antell and it's game on at Ainsley Park Edinburgh City 1, Clyde 1, 10 to go and now Balatoni, oh he's missed out and here's David Goodwillie knocks it back, it's Christopher Siverstein it's 2-1 Clyde are in front 86 minutes on the clock and it's a Norwegian substitute Christopher Siverston, who scores his second goal in 14 Clyde appearances. And a 20-year-old just steps aside and knocks it beyond Craig Thompson and Callum Antell. And into the Edinburgh City net. Edinburgh City 1, Clyde 2. And as things stand, Clyde will leapfrog Edinburgh City in the table. Craig Thompson gets that ball away, but down goes David Goodwill. It'll be a yellow card for the former Hearts defender. This is 11th yellow card of the season. Now Clyde have it, just looking to waste time. Run down that clock, Goodwillie plays it out to Lamont. He gets it over, looking for Siverston. It's going to fall to another substitute. Here's a chance, good save. The man denied was Jack Boyle. Good save, Antel. Corner kick in the city, trying to force a level right to the death. Oh, it almost Blair Henderson gets on the end of it, but it, it's just out of reach. Goal kick, Blair Curry by, taken by the Clyde goalkeeper, and that is it. It's full time, and it has indeed finished 2-1 to the visitors. It does put Clyde three points clear, although they have a seven-goal weaker goal difference in Edinburgh City. Three games to go, so nine to play for. They're four behind Peterhead. Edinburgh City, of course, are further three behind Clyde. It certainly makes for a dramatic end to the season. But this game had everything. At the start of the second half, and it was Blair Henderson who was on hand to score from the penalty spot in 47 minutes. Clyde eventually found their mojo, and they got the leveller on 80 minutes through Ali Love before David Goodwillie set up Christopher Siverston for the winning goal in 86 minutes. Full time, Edinburgh City 1, Clyde 2.